Hi, today I'm going to use the cheat sheet for the Ninja Foodie. I'm using yellow potatoes as opposed to russet, russet potatoes and I want to mash these. So it says two pounds of peeled cut in one inch thick slices, a half a cup of water. Let me see if I can hold this right. Half a cup of water. Cook high for six minutes and release. Okay, so I am going to use my Vidalia to make my potatoes, which will mean that I probably don't have to do it for the six minutes. So once I have my potatoes, I put them in the pot. I will be back after I get my potatoes all cut. Potatoes are in the pot. Close the lid. Oh no, that's the wrong lid. I need the pressure. correction. Pressure lid, not the lid that's attached. All right, so there's a arrow there and an arrow there. We need to match them up. And then this arrow says, go this way. So we're going this way. And then back here, the vent needs to be where it says seal. Turn the power on. Now we're going to pressure. It's on, it's going into high, and we're gonna do six minutes and start. So as you can see, this lid stays stationed. It doesn't come off. The one that comes off is our pressure lid. The pin is down, and now it's time to open up the potatoes. Ta-da! Now, I don't have a pot of boiling water with potatoes in it. I have cooked potatoes that are ready to mash. I don't want to be scraping or mashing in the pot for I don't want to damage my pot. Okay, so I have a... bit of a browning of the potatoes in there but that only adds flavor so I was right I was initially going to do five minutes and I thought no I'll go for the six minutes and so I should have gone for the five minutes I'm going to take the masher and make mashed potatoes I have added nothing to these potatoes and guess what you're mashing like a dream Ta-da! Using the pressure cooker to make mashed potatoes. These potatoes, I'm uh, making this recipe for another video, which is fried cabbage, tuna cabbage rolls. Fried tuna cabbage rolls. I just thought that it looked like a neat twist on uh, cabbage rolls, and I'm going to use the Ninja in the crisper mode to make my cabbage rolls. So if you're interested, tune on in. Success! I decided to give them a taste and I think they're creamy. This is the yellow potatoes I think that I would add just a little bit of salt. Mmm. They're delicious. So simple. Between using the Vidalia and using the Ninja pressure cooker, uh, mashed potatoes are a dream. Mmm. Success. I hope this video was helpful. Do uh, tune in because this is a carry on into another video for a twist on cabbage rolls.